were following the announcement, many have voiced concerns on Buchanan's appointment, including the Jamaica Labour Party. But the PNP remains steadfast in its decision. As its general secretary explains, Trisha Gay Kelly picks up that story. Since the People's National Party PNP Member of Parliament candidate for East Portland Colin Bell stepped away from the task in September, the party has been on a mission to find the next representative. On Tuesday, the PNP announced that attorney at law Isaac Buchanan will be contesting the seat in the general elections. PNP General Secretary Dr. Dayton Campbell says it's not the party that randomly decided on Buchanan, but the constituents who requested him. The people of East Portland called for Isaac Buchanan. And when we did the soundings in the constituency, he has overwhelming support and uh, he has generated a tremendous level of excitement within the constituency. I went down there on Tuesday night to inform them of his candidacy. They asked when will he be on the ground. We decided there and then that he would be on the ground on Wednesday. And by Wednesday morning, you had several hundred persons out there waiting for him. That level of excitement does not exist anywhere else in any of the other 63, con the other 62 constituencies in the country. Not long after the PNP's announcement, the party was criticized for its decision, specifically by the government, which bashed them saying the opposition is in no position to speak on crime, corruption and ethics. But political analyst Lloyd B. Smith, who agrees Buchanan is a good move for the PNP, says it's a pot kettle situation. I think the JLP's response is somewhat of an overreaction. Uh, given that when we look at the political history of Jamaica, there have been many instances when persons who have, for one reason or another, been either convicted or um, faced the law in one way or another, um, ended up serving as parliamentarians. So I, I, I don't see that as a major issue. Smith reasons Buchanan redeemed himself after serving time for his acts in the past. The former PNP MP also highlighted the similarity of the situation with the U.S. presidential race, in which presidential candidate Donald Trump is still being investigated for felonies. While he believes in full integrity, Smith says the political landscape has quite a way to go, and until it reaches that place, the JLP cannot speak on the matter. However, there are others like social commentator Sandra Roden who questions whether the PNP chose Buchanan for the people or the party. His past will be used against him. And if the argument is going to be that there are individuals who would have been convicted in the past and still go on to serve in public life, we must remember that the People's National Party now is selling themselves as a party of great integrity. So that's where the question marks come up. So as I said, there are two sides to the coin. And what we really will see, and I think the people will determine that. I can determine that. I'm just an onlooker. The people will determine if it is more a negative than a positive. Buchanan will face East Portland's Member of Parliament and marie Vaz in the highly anticipated general elections. Trisha Gay Kelly, CVM News.